Hey Cancer, it is me Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's see what God Angels Universe has for you Cancer. <clears throat> Excuse me, there you go with the chariot. Ooh, taking control of your love life. Ooh, lies and cheating. Queen of Cups, okay. Now, right off the rip, the Queen of Cups and the Emperor, bit of an odd couple. Uh, for those of you who could be in a relationship or you clicked on this video to learn about your relationship, I feel like you're dealing with, uh, excuse me, masculine energy, regardless of gender. <clears throat> excuse me, somebody who may be ego-driven, uh, very controlling very sure of what they want um ooh. i feel like in the beginning of whatever the situation was you liked it you know the person was aggressive they kind of turned you on <clears throat> they made it very clear what they wanted from you um but that page it was exciting to you um until until it wasn't let's see what else is going on here Mm. they were married that's what I'm hearing Ooh, yeah that three of swords brought brought in some sort of departure page of Pentacles Ooh, this right out the gate I haven't even pulled in a bunch of angel messages but right off the rip this kind of feels like <clears throat> you met somebody who you thought maybe was a perfect fit um, you thought maybe you and this person would go the distance. They checked a bunch of your boxes. You found out that they were married and you left them or walked away from them. And then you met someone else. So now you're vetting out this new person. Don't ask. I don't even know. Right. Um, this could have been somebody who you fell in love with, who, you know, again, you had a lot invested emotionally. <clears throat> <clears throat> they excited you. They told you what you wanted to hear. Um, but I feel like there's a third party here. Whether this emperor had a third party, male or female, or this is one of two options you have, Cancer. <clears throat> yeah, that truth, that truth came later on. I feel with the high priestess and the chariot card, <clears throat> excuse me you knew all along like you had a sneaking suspicion um i feel like the explanation that this married person gave you was that oh i'm the breadwinner i take care of the household you know um and that's pretty much it <clears throat> You know, it's weird too. I just got the message, the intuitive message that I feel like this emperor kind of fell in love with you, Cancer, because of who you are. Soft, gentle, emotional, nurturing, supportive, right? And I also feel like that was an excuse that this emperor gave as in, well, once I, you know, once I fell in love, I didn't want to let you go. Or, you know, once I got to know you, it was hard to just be friends or, you know, to, to, to not want to be with you. Now with the 10 of cups, nine of cups, nine of wands. Yeah. I kind of feel like there was a lot of built, a lot of love built, a lot of love created in this situation. And now it's almost like you're faced with this choice, this option on what do I do? <clears throat> You know what? I don't condone cheating, but, you know, I understand it. I understand the many scenarios as to why people cheat, you know, and you'd be surprised um, how common it is. And I, I hate that it is that way, but you'd be surprised, right? But this scenario, um, you know, kind of makes me understand, right? As, as an example, this emperor should not be looking outside of home, right? But we don't know what he, she, them, they are going through, right? Especially with the nine of wands here, they're struggling, they're burnt out. I, it, again, 
I don't condone it, but whomever this married person was, they got it rough. And it's almost like they met you, they came upon you, and it was almost like you gave them the will to move on. You made them happy, you made them excited. You brought joy to this person's life. <clears throat> Three of Swords, I cannot deny, this feels like a third party. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, dang, should I release this video? Because it does sound like I'm condoning third parties, which I'm not. I'm just saying I understand how they come to be. And I also kind of feel with the, 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 the Three of Swords here and the Eight of Cups, somebody wants to leave or remove themselves and there they are delivering the news to you. That's what this is. So it's a third party becoming a two party. Thank you, Moses, because I was like, good Lord. I didn't know if I was going to release this one. But that Page of Pentacles, right? It's almost like this person comes and delivers exciting news. Now we could be together. I'm walking away from this third party situation to be with you. Ooh. Okay, I'm sorry. I got to backtrack. I'm giving, getting messages from angels. So for those of you guys who could currently be in third parties, based on what I'm reading, what I'm receiving intuitively, it looks as though you have an offer coming to you to reduce a party, right? Go from three to two. So what you've been hoping for, wishing for, praying for, disappointed, <clears throat> emotionally stagnant, abundant, resistant. Yeah, look at this household, marriage, right? You're praying for it. You're going to be disappointed by it. You're going to withhold love um, and do you and resist the breakup. Oh, that just kind of says that whomever this person is walking away from, like the spouse who this person is walking away from, um, you know, is going to be a little disappointed and sad, obviously, right? Most endings are sad, but there's no love there. There's no love there. It is purely financial. This is so freaking crazy how this reading is coming together, guys. I promise you this is not anything from my conscious mind, right? But here I kind of mentioned that, yeah, your person may just be there to take care of the family. They're the breadwinner. <clears throat> but they're disappointed. They have no love. There's disconnection in love or emotions. And there's the money. So, ooh. And they don't want to do it anymore. They want the the traditional sense of what a marriage is. Love, harmony, peace, and, and you know, vacations and travel and, you know. So, ooh, shit. I'm hearing that they could leave their spouse to want to be with you or to marry you. Ooh, ooh, wee. This card just fell in my, in my lap. Take action. Oh, Lord. I don't know who reading this is, and I apologize again. I'm going to release it because I'm being told to release it, but I'm so uncomfortable right now. Oh, wee. This is a very specific reading for somebody, and y'all keep getting confirmation left and right. <clears throat> Recovery. Ooh. Choose a new direction. Uh, recovery, right? Whoever this emperor is walking away from their home life, um, angels are saying, be careful that they don't have a rebound relationship with you, Cancer. But I feel like they're going to recover. And when they, rec they recover, they're going to choose a new direction to couple up with you. Who we? I don't know who reading this is. It's the most uncomfortable reading I've ever done. <laughs> um, Cancer, Aquarius, Pisces, and Cancer. Um, Aries, oh Lord. Um, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Virgo. So Cancer, you are all up in your own reading and you're here three times. So yeah, I feel like I have to release this. Please don't shoot the messenger. She shoots back, by the way, talking about myself. <clears throat> reconciliation angels just said too maybe some of you 
your spouse walked out on you to be with somebody else and maybe that crashed and burned. Now they want to come back, but you're not too open about it. You're still disappointed at, uh, by their exit. Oh, I got to get out of this reading. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Ooh, soulmate. Mm. Ah, make the effort. Give, uh, give love. Wait, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Oh, this is so uncomfortable. <laughs> worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. I don't know who's reading this is. <clears throat> it was brought to you today by everybody else in this universe except Alex. If it does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you, Cancer. Bye.